So this is a potato cannon. It's made out of polyvinyl chloride pipe, PVC pipe, and it will shoot a piece of potato about 100 yards. So if you take a potato and cram it down the muzzle, which has been tapered at the end so it does a good job of cutting out a piece of potato, and I'll set this on the floor for a moment, and then push the potato in, get a nice little core. Take our custom ramrod, shove the potato down to about the right position. Then we take the end cap, which has a sparker in it, which gives off sparks, as you can see. Spray some hairspray in there. You have to use the right kind of hairspray, the kind that has butane as the propellant. And they've changed hairsprays recently, so you have to read the label and make sure you're using one that's got butane. So you spray it in, and you have to practice this some so you get the right amount to give you a nice explosive mixture of the hairspray butane and the air in the cabinet in the chamber. You screw this in, and you give nice little twist and it'll shoot the potato about 300 feet. We won't actually do this, it'll probably damage me or somebody else. So the construction of this potato cannon is based on plans that are included in this book called Backyard Ballistics, one of my all-time favorite titles. They talk about safety in the book, pay attention to what they say. Obviously, you don't wrote, aim the cannon at anybody. I always wear safety glasses when I'm working with something that is even slightly dangerous because you never know when something is going to go wrong. If you did, then you could plan for it, but since you don't know, you can't plan for it. And when I'm doing the potato cannon, one thing I do is I put a board between the firing chamber and me so that in case something goes wrong and the firing chamber explodes, I don't get hit by flying shrapnel. So I would recommend that you do that yourself.